What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. I've mostly been using DMZ and the new Call of Duty to level up my weapons. However, there's an extremely efficient way that you can also do this in standard Warzone. It is very much like the old method in the original Warzone, where we try to chain together as many bounties as possible, and we try to leverage that money into XP for us. I actually approach this method in two different ways depending on how the map spawns and how many players I think will land at a particular location and that's simply due to the fact that this area which I'm going to suggest now is fairly congested at the moment and you have a high likelihood of running into other players that you'll have to gunfight. If you feel comfortable with that then I absolutely suggest that you use Al Mazra City, uh, specifically this area here as your landing point since there is a high amount of cash registers in this little shop and you can mass up a huge amount of cash right at the beginning which is our first part of the plan so we can move on to phase two once you make it inside safe and sound be sure to loot all the cash registers in this area as that's going to start you off with about 10 to 12k and essentially get you ready for phase two of the plan now beware as said you're going to get other guys that are going to come in here trying to do either the same thing or just coming in here to hinder your progress so prepare for a gunfight and always make sure to loot their bodies to make sure to get the cash that they might have siphoned out of the registers already if this first method seems too spicy for you and you're not in the mood to gunfight sweaty guys and of course as more people discover this area and how lucrative it can be to come here you'll get more and more people showing up which makes the overall it's just much more unpredictable as whether you make it out with the cash my second way for raising a huge amount of money that i can suggest is safe cracker bounties now, these, for some reason, are not very popular with players, at least in the couple of hours that I was spending creating the footage for this video, I was able to always find an abundance of these available, and they're good for us for two reasons. One, simply due to the fact that you can complete them quite fast, so you can string a bunch of them together, and essentially what they mean is you activate the bounty, and then you have to go to three different locations and bomb out those safes. But the second reason why we like them so much is those safes spit out cash, which one once again fuels this huge amount of money that we're trying to pull together so that we can move on to the second part of this once you've amassed a small fortune we're going to move on to phase two of the levering strategy and that is finding a buy station i would suggest picking one that's kind of like on the outskirts so that you don't accidentally wander into an active gunfight or a bunch of assholes that want to steal your money and once you get in front of the buy station and you're good to go again here you have two choices if you were lucky enough to pick up floor loot of weapons which you are trying to level then skip the step of actually buying the gun that you want to level so if you have a whole bunch of different weapons still to level up obviously you know if you have a favorite bring that weapon in as a loadout that you can buy there but bear in mind that that's going to chew up some of the cash that you can use for this leveling once you have the weapon that you want to level up in your hand go ahead and buy as many armor plates as you can armor plates are unlimited in the buy box and they're also the cheapest thing that you can buy in the buy box and each purchase of a armor plate is going to essentially be as if you are getting a kill aka 100 xp now it, this is without using any kind of weapon xp multipliers so anything that you stack on top of this whether you're using a weapon xp multiplier or anything like that is only going to increase the yield of xp that you get from this so be sure to buy out all of your cash worth of armor plates and then you really have a choice at this point in time if the ring is still fairly large you can go and find additional contracts more safe cracker contracts giving you more money as well as xp when you finish those safe cracker contracts which translates into more weapon xp for you as well and then if at that time you could either play the game to its completion or you can simply suicide yourself and essentially wash out of the game and get to the level screen where you can see all that delicious weapon xp coming in this is by far the most efficient way that i've found to level weapons at this moment in time and most likely the way that i'm going to finish out the remaining weapons that i still need to do feel free to let me know in the comments down below if there are any other ways in which i can augment this to make it even more spicy but other than that good luck with the leveling thank you so much for watching especially if you made it this far and it's just super important to me that you have a fantastic morning afternoon and evening wherever you are in the world until next video fucking cheers they want the best of me now best of me now best of me now best of me they want the best of me now best of me now best of me now best of me they want the best of me